Hey everyone, Jeff Grubb, GamesBeat here. I am here to talk to you about the Razer turret. Uh, and I'm not here to talk to you about my tank top. It's uncomfortably hot here. Let's not, let's not dwell on my pale ass skin. Not my ass skin, but you know what I mean. Um, let's get into the review for this device, which is basically a kind of all-in-one sort of $150 wireless keyboard and mouse combo for playing PC games on a TV. Um, I, I really like the unit. I think it's worth the price, and I I, I would recommend it. Let, let me kind of just jump right into what I like about it. Um, I think the first thing that is important to say is that it is sturdy. When you are playing games on, like, okay, you can see the bent there. Ignore that, because it, you'll never notice it when you're actually playing. So when you are playing games on a TV, PC games, and you're using a keyboard and mouse, this is typically typically going to rest on your lap. What I found is this material on the bottom here, this kind of rubberized, grippy stuff, does a really good job good job of catching onto clothes and onto you know blankets, uh, even even skin, while remaining comfortable. Uh, it doesn't wobble because it is doing that catching. That friction is really good. Um, I'm just gonna rub it on myself because why not? I'm already wearing an inappropriate shirt for this review, so let's get weird. Um, so I, it, it, you snap it out like this, you have the keyboard, move it around, something you've probably seen before. Um, I really like the mouse and the mouse pad. Uh, way better than having like a keyboard with a touch pad. This, uh, this feels just much more like traditional PC gaming and move it around on this mouse pad feels great. And no matter what you do, if you're doing that, um, I've played a lot of Overwatch using this. I've had it sitting on my lap and I've you know, been pounding away over here on WASD while moving this around. And the result wasn't this kind of uncomfortable, you know, jumbling sensation on my like legs or anything like that. Instead, it was just this comfortable, sturdy situation where I was playing the game and only thinking about the game because this wasn't getting in the way. Um, I will also say that I, speaking on the comfort, it's not just sturdy, it feels uh, really good to use. Um, having it sort of sit down on my lap, uh, my shoulders kind of just fell into place where they're supposed to be. I thought it would be a lot more comfortable to have a keyboard and mouse sort of that far down on my body. I'm um, used to having it a little bit more, a little higher. Um, but where it was was not just fine; it felt great. I was playing for hours at a time. Uh, one day I played like spin tires for just like six or seven hours. I, my wife kept yelling at me to stop playing, and I couldn't because I was having so much fun using this to play a PC game like that. Um, I'm going to put this away. We'll talk about the actual whole unit now. Um, one of the other big things I like here is just the way it is all put together. This is a handsome package. And what I mean by that is it looks like you could put it in your living room and have it sit there next to your TV, next to your couch on a, on a, you know, a coffee table. And it looks almost like a modern piece of tech that just kind of belongs there. Uh, one of the things I don't like about those big, like, you know, built-in keyboard and touchpad units is that they, where do you put them when you're not using it? Do you put it on the, you know, the armrest? Do you try to find a place for it, you know, behind the TV? Uh, and then you have to go dig in it and get it out. Um, I don't, I don't like that. This, you know, it has this docking station, this charging dock. You put it somewhere and you put it all together like this and it just sits, stands off the side and it looks so nice that you're not going to hate having it around. Um, and what it, and having the dock means you're always going to be charging it, which is another leads into another thing that I really like, and that is just how long this thing lasts in terms of battery life. Uh, the battery lasts forever. I took this traveling with me, and I accidentally left the dock somewhere, and I didn't get it back for like a week. And I was just using the mouse anyhow, and I used it every single day, and it still just kept going and going and going, and it never even like gave me a blinking light or anything like that. So I was really impressed with that. I just thought it was going to die after two or three gaming sessions, and it didn't. It just kept going, and the keyboard is the same way. So having that dock and having this long battery life means that you could just go play your games on your TV. You're probably never going to think about it running out of energy uh, and you know having to go charge it before you can actually play because it's just always going to be full of juice as long as you're you know putting it back on the dock every night. And it's just it lasts so long that 
there's kind of no marathon gaming session that's going to like that's going really going to drain it. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I I really want to mention. Liking, I, I mean, it's not mechanical or anything like that, but it's the keys feel great. They don't have a ton of travel. It's similar to the keyboard you might find on the Razer Blade, the full size Razer Blade laptop. Uh, maybe there's maybe a little bit more travel. Um, I also like that the the, uh, the buttons for adjusting the sensitivity on the mouse are right here. You know, I hit those, good to go. Oh, and one last thing that I like, it has both 2.4 gigahertz wireless and Bluetooth radio. So you just hit the switch right here on either the mouse or the keyboard. Um, and when you're connecting to 2.4 gigahertz, it is actually inside here. Let's go ahead and break this open. There's the dongle right there. It's this wee little thing. And it's not going to break because it has a lot high profile uh, sticking out of the side of your laptop like a Xbox wireless adapter. That thing sticks two feet on my laptop. I set it down wrong. It's going to bend and break. I, that happened to me before. That's not going to happen here. Um, and when you're done with it, you just put it back inside the mouse and it's good for traveling. This is kind of... And the mouse is good for traveling. This whole unit isn't. Uh, if I was just going to... Now if I'm in trouble, I would just take this, but I wouldn't take the keyboard or dock. Um, but because it, you know, it fits right in there, that is very useful. I like that. Um, so yeah, uh, I think connecting Bluetooth works most of the time. The mouse did give me a few situations where it cut out in the middle of an Overwatch match. That was frightening. Uh, I yelled at it. Um, so I prefer the 2.4 gigahertz, but thankfully that little USB dongle is very small, so I can live with that. Um, what I don't like, kind of uh, the one major thing is bottom of this mouse gets dirty. I don't know if that's going to bother you, but this rubberized material really picks up dust and it drives me crazy. Now I, I could get in there with some alcohol swabs and, and clean it out, but it's just, it's not, I'm not going to do that every day. And I feel like it would, it would only take like a couple days to kind of get that gunk in there again. Um, another thing about this rubberized material, and this is kind of the last thing I don't like is it really only works well on the surface that they provide, or if you get another uh, uh, mat, like a mouse pad that feels like this. Um, I have another gaming precision surface mouse pad, and that works really well for all my other mouses, another Razer, but this material gets caught. It gets caught on there and it doesn't feel good. It, it, um, so you can't move it, do slight movements without it like feeling uh, kind of gross to do, like to the touch. Um, I think though, that's kind of it. In terms of my final thoughts, it's it does all the things that I wanted to do. The important things of being sturdy, of being comfortable, having a long battery life, not looking out of place in the living room. Those are the things that's just like nail those, and I'll I'll probably be happy with with a device like this, because um, those are all the requirements I need to make PC gaming on a television make sense for me. This makes it make sense, I, and I appreciate that. Um, those negatives. Minor. They're, they're not a big deal. Uh, they don't really bother me. It's $150. It's out now. Uh, I think if you're kind of, if you're considering something like this, and if you have had bad experiences with, with other like couch keyboard solutions, I would say that you should give this a try because I think this solves a lot of the problems. Uh, it definitely did for me. Uh, I, and I'm going to, I'm keeping this around. I'm going to be using it all the time. So I think that does it though. This review is over. Thank you for watching. It's Jeff Grubb, GamesBeat, and I'm going to catch you next time. Uh, the review, written reviews on the site, GamesBeat.com if you want more. Till next time, adios.